Okay, it's October the 27th and we are back here on Ubuntu 24.04. This is the different laptop to the 24.10 install and this has been on this laptop for six months now. Six months and nary a problem except for the original update in the snap up data. Yeah, we found a way around that. We get around that. Everything's fine. Everything that I install or have installed, I've not installed anything since I put on all the software that I need, uh, has been from the Debian's via the software app center. Right? Okay. So, what have I got to say? This has been on here for six months. This has been with me in the home, well, my previous home, in the pub while we were moving house when I needed to use their free Wi Fi. Um, I would do updates, I would just check in and report that things were still going well and so forth. And now we're in a new place. Uh, we've gone through all sorts of crap at home like potential redundancy and loss of job on. The part of my partner um, but we're here we're coming coming through the other side of it and um, this has been with me throughout all of that this has been on here for six months now prior to me putting this on this particular laptop I have railed against Ubuntu I've railed against snaps I've railed against system D but I thought after watching video after video after video of Linux users trying to lure people off of Windows and away from their horrific Windows 11 um, to Linux and I thought what they really need to see is someone using one distro reliably long term. Now most of the people who have been most passionate about bringing people from Windows to Linux haven't actually managed to keep on one distribution long term. So that was the exercise for running Ubuntu 2404 on this laptop long term. Get my software installed, not messing about with it, not breaking it, keeping it going, using it like Windows users use Windows as in a means for running software. I've got the software that I use on a daily basis on here. I installed it all within the first week of installing the system and I've not had to install anything else since. I've let it be. I've used it as an operating system rather than a plaything to show that Linux is a viable alternative and won't break on you. I've chose to use Ubuntu to demonstrate this because it is the first port of call for most people when they first try Linux and also because there is a massive uh, amount of help and solutions up there on the internet should you get a problem with Ubuntu or an Ubuntu based operating system. So yeah this has been with me for six months, reliably, working well, snaps and all, though I chose not to use any extra snaps than what it forced on me. But that said, it's been reliable, it's been solid, and it's just not given me any trouble. It's allowed me to run my software, my music player, my video player, my audio processing doodads, my graphics work, both bitmap and uh, vector. It's allowed me to create music, it's allowed me to take notes, it's allowed me to do file management, and it's allowed me to browse the internet and do everything I do in the browser. So here we are, we are six months in, and I've got no complaints. You too can install Ubuntu and uh, barring the usual, all oh, this is a bit alien to me, niggles, 
once you go online and you ask people will help you out and you can run it just the same way as you would run your Windows or your Mac OS it's viable and we need videos showing people that it's viable that the only thing that breaks Linux certainly on the Ubuntu or Debian based ones nine times out of ten are people faffing about with it and breaking it those people are not the best uh, ambassadors for free and open source software because they just show it breaking again and again and again show it working again and again and again this is me ghosty at station 67 signing off and uh, yeah six months in no problems I'm gonna keep this here and yeah why wouldn't I it works ta -da.